Hey guys, wanted to do a quick review of the do events command. Okay, so what's nice about do events is that it will pass control outside of Excel momentarily so that if you need to um, <clears throat> break code or, or pause code, uh, it, it makes it a great deal easier. So for instance, so we had like a, uh, a loop here. And uh, let's say the loop right went from zero to a thousand. And we just wanted to put that number into the immediate window. You know, we could see it here typically, right, hitting the escape key um, will break the code. So I could hit escape here, and you can see the code is breaking for me. I can go into debug mode. Uh, sometimes that code will not break if you hit escape or control C. And so what I typically would like to do is put in a do events command and your code will run slower, but uh, you have a better chance of interrupting the code. So for instance, if I hit a five here, it will run a little slower, but then I still kind of have um, <clears throat> operability within the um, IDE. And so you saw there, I could set the breakpoint because it was passing control outside of Excel momentarily. So it does slow down your code. We could we could see like what the uh, time difference is. What I, what I'll typically do is in um, you know in in development mode, right? We could set like a private or public um, variable here. So let's just say public const as dev uh, public const dev as boolean equals true when we're in dev mode. So we could say, you know, if dev equals false, then, um, I'm sorry, if dev is true, right, then we want to um, execute two events so we can, you know, we could even put this on the same line here, make it cleaner. Um, and then, right, if you go into production, you could say, no, false, we're in production now. But we'll set this to true. We'll run it, and as you can see, right, we get that same capacity to operate within our IDE. Now, we could also see, like, how much this slows down our code. So we could say, like, we could set a timer here. I could say like uh, I guess it's gonna be a date. Just set it to timer. I think it's a long actually, or a double rather. Do something like this. Timer end. Timer, and we can see the total time result. So we could say uh, total run time in seconds equals end timer minus timer. And I'll uh, make this like a thousand just so that it runs a little quicker. All right, so it was 2.3 seconds with two events on. And then uh, we expect it to be a little quicker with do events off. Yeah, that's a lot quicker. So 1.5, so like roughly 1.5 divided by 2.3. So yeah, I guess theoretic red, what is that? About 35% increase in speed. So yeah, significantly faster. And then right, if you wanted to completely just you know, if you're going to production, you just take this out altogether. You know, theoretically, if there's a bunch of these, then, you know, you just want to have a switch to turn them off. You could also do, um, oh, I forget what the, uh, like, uh, I forget what they call it. It's like a compound if, or um, do a follow-up video on that, but it's uh, like a, uh, I forget the, the proper terminology for it. Maybe someone in the video can uh, remind me down in the comments. Um, but yeah, that's another alternative. Um, probably the correct way to do it. All right. Thanks, guys.